folks, good morning and today we're going on an adventure. So today we're going to plow a rice paddy. I'm going to show you guys how to actually cultivate the land before planting rice. So to do that, we have to get down there. So it's me and Jen, we're going through this narrow path going down. So let's go. Off we go. Look at the scenery here. It's beautiful. Look at those rice paddies. Wow. This is province life. It's very nice. It's very green over here. I miss... Uh, it reminds me of childhood memories when... I was growing up, it's the same place. It's very similar, actually. Hello, baby! Look, guys, this is Jen's son. Hello, baby! How are you, baby? Hello, say hi, baby! Ka <laughs> cute, cute, mani mo, oi. Cute, man, lagi ka dong. We have a very nice cow over here. Wala mang sungai good. Hello. Hello. Hello Mr. Cow. Is it a Mr. or a Mrs.? Oh. <laughs> she shy. Bye ni Lucky. Hello. Hello. Did you good boy or a girl? I'm not really sure. I haven't I haven't checked if it's a boy or a girl. Hello. Singing. Oh. Let me check if she if it's a she or a he. I think it's a she. Bye. Bye. It's a it's a she. It's a girl. It's a girl. So guys, this is where they wash their clothes and also fetch water for drinking. Apparently, they don't boil the water. They just drink it straight from this flowing source of water. I think... Unsa man ni siya dai ka nang... Nani? Gibuhuan? Unsa man ni? Naa Ah, okay. Okay, but there's a hole over there under those rocks and then the water comes out from that bamboo piece. And as you can see guys over there, there are wrappers of laundry detergent, laundry soap. This is also where they um, do their laundry. And also, this is where they take a bath. Well... Filipino style, bucket style. Under this big acacia tree. So guys, this is the star of our video for today. This is what you guys call a water buffalo, but we call them carabaos. So this is the main workhorse of the rice production they're very ubiquitous in the entire country you can see them everywhere and i'm gonna ride this beauty to the next carbo who's going to do the plowing so let's do that hello baby girl she's very beautiful by the way guys she's four years old ouch oh it's okay baby girl Success! Good girl! Go! They're very docile. Whoa! Okay, off we go! So let's hook up the plow. Come on! 
Isn't she a sweet baby? Not really a big baby. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Okay, let's rotate. 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 <laughs> rotate. Ho, ho, ho. Stop. Okay. Sorry, baby girl. This is kind of heavy. How? There. It's done. guys we just plowed the rice paddy as you can see it's a mess but you really have to plow each section thoroughly so that the rice paddy will turn into mushy the soil turn into mushy paste and that's an indication that the rice field is ready for planting the rice So guys, after plowing the rice paddy, um, you have to prepare the rice seedlings. So to prepare rice seedlings, you have to soak the rice grains two nights and two days until the sprout starts coming out. So if that happens, you have to plant it in a section of a rice paddy until it will grow like this big. And next step, you have to take them out and plant them in the rice paddy like this it is watery it should sustain the rice stock so what you're gonna do is go in get one stalk put it there two inches to four inches deep and six inches apart so they have enough space to grow and you have to do it to cover the field so you also have to follow it in a straight line so it's easy to harvest and we do this manually too see there oh at the same time you're also <laughs> having a mud bath it's good for your skin. You're getting suntan and mud bath. Oops. And also I'm having a hair spa day. <laughs> so after covering all the rice paddy, all you have to do is wait at least three months until it's ready to be harvested. So guys, once the rice is ready to be harvested, it should turn out to be golden yellow. So what we do is use a scythe or what we call galab in Visayan term. And we do this manually, just like this. Like that. And as you can see, you have to do that manually all over the field. So guys, after harvesting the rice, the rice paddy will look like this. Now it's empty. So we gathered all the rice stalks and removed the rice grains. And what we do next is dry them under the sun. And while we're working in the farm, usually Filipinos are barefoot. We don't use any boots or gloves. This is how it is. So now let's go dry the rice grains. So guys, after harvesting the rice, as you can see here, this is the detritus from the rice stalks. We collect the rice grains and lay it over here to dry up some more under the sun. And these ones are not going to waste because we're going to feed it to our carabaos. So 
after the rice grains are going to be um, drier, if they're ready to be milled, what we do is place them here. We collect them, put them in a sack like this. These are dry and ready to be delivered to the milling station. So the finished products are the ones that you see in the supermarkets. Rice without the rice husk. So it should look like this. <laughs> it's very difficult to peel the rice husk manually, but that's the finished products. That's the grain of rice. So guys, I hope you enjoyed our little adventure for today and I hope you learned something and how we produce our rice here the traditional way. I was really glad to take you guys out, out in the province and nature, and I'll see you next time for another interesting topic. See you next time, folks. Ciao! If you think about it, I'm kind of like your nurse. Attending to your needs and making sure you get a healthy dose of what's good for you in the form of informational and funny videos. After all, laughter is the best medicine. The only thing I ask for my service is that you hit the thumbs up for this video and subscribe to my channel. And while you're recuperating, why not enjoy my other videos too? So, are you ready?